Europe and the US fought a six-hour space war in cyberpunk, and it culminated in two world's first events. The war started with the United States Aerospace Force, the Air Force but including space, and the European Space Agency, each seeking to weaponize space. They both put out a bunch of spy and weapon satellites in orbit, and the United Nations didn't like that and said that there was too much cluttering up the area, dangerously blocking space lanes, so they said that anything unmarked in orbit was trash and could legally be salvaged by anyone. And all of those spy and kill satellites were unmarked. So both sides started going ham, ripping up each other's stuff for parts and secrets. Both loved doing that, but hated that the other was. So aggression gradually increased, leading to the Six-Hour War. It kicked off when the United States Aerospace Force invaded a European-aligned station in the only recorded spacesuit military invasion in cyberpunk history, which included the EVA troopers, USAF Special Forces in powered armor, and Europe obviously did not like this, so had its lunar colony on Tycho warm up its mass drivers. Usually these were used to throw mined lunar rock into orbit to be harvested. This time it was used to drop two rocks onto the United States. One destroyed the city of Tampa Bay, Florida. They were going to drop it on Cape Canaveral, but that just hurt NASA, who wasn't military. And the second one totally annihilated Colorado Springs, also effectively destroying military command in Cheyenne Mountain. And this is why Europe has the biggest space presence in cyberpunk.